just like an oven out there. It's just a little game and uh, it's not one I'm really enjoying. And I'm not winning either. I think when you start something like this, you have to be fully committed. There are no half chances, there's no half thoughts. The speed project is unique because it doesn't really have any rules. There's no aid stations, there's no support. It removes all of the frills, if you like. It takes away the things that make races what they traditionally are. And I like that. Doing something unique and doing something that's different is really appealing. Travelling from LA to Vegas, we just need to keep moving relentlessly. My name's James Paul, I'm 45 years old, I'm an ultra runner from London. Running has brought a lot of positive things in my life. It's connected me with people across the world. It's taken me to places that I probably never would have gone had I not had the opportunity to put one foot in front of another and run. And cash only. Savage. Okay, so that's uh, that's not happening. Still feel pretty fresh. I don't want to get into the point where I'm like so tired that I can't make good decisions because it's all about good decisions. Whenever you're doing something as challenging as running 500 kilometers, there's inevitably gonna be some soul-crushing lows and some epic highs. It's just part of the process. There's gonna be a patch when there are no facilities, there's no gas stations, no motels, no restaurants, nothing. And there's gonna be times for sure when all my plans are exhausted and I have to use whatever I have to get myself out of that problem. Temperature in the run is going to be fairly okay, I think. It's, we're talking about like high 20s in the day. That's going to be hard for sure because it's not much shade. So it's going to be tough. It's not my biggest concern, if I'm honest. Maybe that's naive and I regret that. But I think there's other concerns that are bigger than the temperatures. It's actually a good time of year to run it. Sun, like a laser. Oh. There is no respite from that sun. It feels a bit more emotional today than yesterday. I think yesterday just getting started was the main thing. Today it's a bit more like as it starts to get harder, doubts creep in a little bit and the aches start to ache a bit more on them. Let's do it where going. I have a pretty good tolerance for pain, but it's going to be painful and it's going to be a nagging pain, I suspect, for a long period of that time. Just the dust in here, it's crazy. Huh? It's days and days of rubbish in here. My biggest concern is the sleep deprivation, for sure. To get to the end of something this long, it's a series of making good decisions along that journey and making sure you're looking at maps and things properly. And it's so easy once you get more than 30 or 40 hours of not sleeping, my brain doesn't function as well. So my biggest concern is how I manage that. The thing about suffering is that we often 
think of it in the negative, but also it can be very positive and a necessary evil, if you like. Because within that suffering, within doing something to make you suffer, there is also plenty of joy, plenty of things that can be taken away that are really positive. I'll be running across the desert somewhere that I haven't been before, from a place I haven't been before to another place I haven't been before. That excites me, that's the adventure of doing something. And if there's some suffering along the way, that's part of the process, that's part of the adventure. This is where I want to be. This is where I'm most alive. This is you know, what our adventure really is. The best part of running is the joy that comes from seeing somewhere new, running with people that you do know, you don't know, making friends. That's how I want to do running. You'd be wrong with me to judge other people for doing it differently. So hot. Just can't, uh, just can't, can't breathe out there. So hot. The opportunity to see somewhere new, to experience something new. The memories of those things last forever. The, the medals and the t-shirts, I don't know where half of them are these days. At some point during the race, everything will begin to hurt. My feet will hurt, my body will hurt, my brain will hurt. And it's at that point when you just want to give up that you have to really dig deep and just keep doing what you do. You just have to keep running. Anyone who thinks they're going to do a marathon or an ultra marathon has to also accept a level of sacrifice. To train, to train your body, to run longer distances, you have to spend more time running. And with that comes some sacrifice. That's part, I think, of the, of the joy of running. like an oven out there, so the canyon, just uh, the wind's turned warm as well so you get like heat from the ground and the walls and the sun and then you get the warm, warm air as well, it's just hideous, no other word for it. Two hours from civilization, and I've got no water. I'm properly fucked, right? So I have to like the whole time be thinking: don't drink that water. I know you want it, but don't drink it because it might be the last water you have today. It's a bit stressful that whole scenario of just rationing water, but then also wanting to move quicker so they can get out of the sun. It's just a little game, and uh, it's not one I'm really enjoying, and I'm not winning either. Oh, the sun is definitely beating me. It's always the same, isn't it? You do a race, you do a long run, and you get to the end, you just want it done. And it really, really comes easy, because you've, to get to that point, you've had to work quite hard. So it sort of comes with the territory. It doesn't mean it's ple ever pleasant, but um, yeah, it passes. That's done. <laughs> it was epic, but, but um, I'm also glad it's over.
cheers. Oh man, today, as it, today break me. Today was the tipping point. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, we're here, right? Made it, made it. This is the best finish line ever because no one cares whether you run 500 miles, 500 kilometers, 5,000 miles because they've got their own stuff going on. And that's cool. This is, to me is like the, the most epic finish line. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. And no one gives a damn that I run 500 kilometers. And I love that because do you know what? It doesn't really matter, does it? There's much more important stuff going on.